One of the conversations I did want to have is about treaty. Now, obviously, many people that are saying no and are passionate about no, they don't want it because they see that as the opening to the process of voice, treaty, truth. If they say no to the voice, then the process doesn't start. But you're in the New South Wales Parliament and the New South Wales budget has money in it for a treaty process. The Victorian government is already in a treaty process. The Northern Territory is in a treaty process. Do you think that there will be either a level of disappointment or shock when people actually realise that no matter how they vote mm. in a couple of weeks' time, treaties are coming state by state? Well, I don't think a lot of people in New South Wales, for example, know um, that $5 million has already been allocated for a listening tour around New South Wales in relation to the treaty. It's a lot of money, uh, particularly at a time when people want economic relief for cost of living pressures. Uh, it's also... Another issue that I'm really concerned about, Paul, is the fact that um, the Premier in New South Wales, Chris Minns, has made it clear um, that he wants to pursue his own voice in New South Wales. OK? So my concern with that is, well, hang on, um, if the vote is a, a no, emphatic no, I hope, come October 14th, particularly here in New South Wales, um, will he still pursue a, a separate voice? Mm. Uh, and can then you really justify pursuing you know, all this money into a treaty as well? I, I'm not convinced really what New South Wales will do. They're, they're happy to throw this money for con, you know, consultants and, and you know, contracts and, and so forth. But um, ultimately, look, the process will continue. That's the problem. Um, I think what Australians want is a very clear decision being made on the 14th of October mm. and for all the premiers... To um, listen to it. To you listen know, the to chance it. We had, right. when we had a chance to vote, we made a clear decision. Mm. And, yes, that will be interpreted as one about the Constitution. But, Michael, there is very op uh, there's the obvious opportunity of people saying they don't want to go down this path. But one of the questions that Albanese, in all of the interviews that he does, never gets asked... And isn't this interesting? The media never wants <laughs> to ask him, which is... Parliament sits mm. Mm. on the Monday after this referendum. Mm. Will he legislate the voice on the Monday after the referendum? Well, I'll give you the answer. The answer will be no, um, because if he does that, he'll be uh, he'll be you know a one-term government if he tries that trick. I mean, just go back to this bloke in Western Australia, the former Labor treasurer, who, who says, you know, let's accept that everything's failed. We need a voice because everything that's failed over the last twenty or thirty years in this country, all these policies, Indigenous policies, have failed. So what he's really saying is this: Marcia Langton, uh, Megan Davis. Uh, Noel Pearson, before them, Loisha O'Donoghue, etc. All the Aboriginal, the, the elite, the, the establishment, you know, the royal family of their Aboriginal leadership, who have been advising state and federal governments for decades, and on whose advice billions of dollars of Australian tax, taxpayer dollars has been spent. They've all been wrong for decades. And now the same people who have been wrong for decades have a new idea. Yeah. one which failed when it was last in, implemented, which was that sick, between 1990 and 2005. But the same people, mate, who have failed in their advice to governments for decades have now got a new plan which they want you to implement, otherwise you're a racist, basically. Why would anyone listen to them? Why would anyone listen to these people who have been wrong and wrong and wrong? And, mate, they can't explain the simple question. How would this voice make any difference whatsoever? No one's ever asked that. You know, you, you hear one vague example. Oh, but if they listen to children here, this will happen. Yeah. There's no proper explanation as to why the voice will make any difference, mate.